What's up, everybody? Smith the movie X Kicks, and I'm about to do a trailer reaction of John Wick Chapter Three, uh, Parbellum. I think is how it's pronounced. This is trailer two, but I I keep saying trailer two or official trailer. I'm not for sure if the last trailer I reviewed was a teaser trailer or what, or this is just chapter. I mean, or this is just trailer two. Either way, that last trailer had me on like I was going crazy off that mug because that that trailer was just everything. So. I mean, I'm not saying they can't top the last trailer because it's John Wick. So, I'm just trying to say, I'm guessing this is the quote-unquote official trailer, if you will. So, regardless, I'm hyped for John Wick Chapter 3. By the way, I'm hyped for John Wick Chapter 3. Um, it's going to be the closing chapter, if I'm not uh, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I just love how the picture they dropped today had him and the dog. I got my dog right here. <laughs> hey. It's, mm. All right, go sit down. Go, okay, go. we well, stand right there. So let's get into this trailer and let's see what it's talking about. You There's a doggy. No idea what's coming. Mm. Mr. Wick broke the rules. I trust you understand the repercussions if he survives. John Wick, excommunicado, is now in effect. You shouldn't be here. Nice suit. Good to see you too. I need your help. Mm. After this, we are less than even. <laughs> There's no escape for you. The high table wants your life. Would you help set the mood for our new guest? Let us begin. Our services still off limits to me. What do you need? Guns. Lots, Lots of, of guns. guns. <laughs> <laughs> You can take John Wick. You've got a nasty surprise coming. Oh, dude. I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. Ooh. And so far, you haven't disappointed. We can keep this up as long as you'd like. This only ends one way. Quick plan. All of this for what? Because of a puppy? Wasn't just a puppy. Just when you think things can get any better, they drop some more fire. Oh, oh, okay. Whew. Okay. I got to compose myself. That was fire. Okay. Uh, I'm a huge fan of John Wick. Um, I said in the previous trailer that this is kind of unfortunate this is coming to an end because I think they can still do one more movie. Um, we actually never seen how John Wick became John Wick. That's the only downfall I can see about the John Wick um, series. You know, we never we never saw how he became the legend of, of John Wick, the boogeyman, as, as they would call him. You know, so I think they could still do a prequel to this franchise if if you really think about it so we can kind of see like you know how he became who he is now um but far as this trailer was straight fire that motorcycle scene though when he uh threw the through the sword in the tire and the dude flipped over oh my god so but we do get a little more insight in this trailer about um the nuances of Halle Berry's character obviously that John Wick uh, obviously she owes John Wick a favor and she's collecting on that debt um, I guess to help him get him out of this mess. And it's good to see that he's able to go back to the hotel, even though the guy was the, the guy of the, the leader of the hotel was the one who pretty much started the whole 
thing, but he John Wick didn't break the rules because remember in the last one he killed someone in the hotel, which is against the rules. So, but I like how he had the little pit bull in there. Had you seen my dog? Hey, bullet. He will let him sleep. But um, I'm super excited for this John Wick Chapter Three. Now, the only no, I'm gonna say bad thing, but the only thing is that John Wick. These other previous John Wicks have all come out like in the middle of winter, like October, November, December ish. And this one is, I guess, the, the last one they're swinging for the fences for real because it's coming out May 17th. So it's coming out against like all the heavy hitters that come out in the summer. So it's interesting to see, you know, I guess they figured that, you know, he has such a big following that everyone's going to follow him into May. And with this probably being the last movie, I think they're going to get a lot of money. Um, I can easily see this doing like. 60 70 million opening weekend easily me personally so. i kind of think that this john wick uh series is was was great i mean not only was the action you know far as far as the storyline about him like you know killing someone for a dog and all that i think a lot of people are missing the premise of that 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 was his way of closure from his wife that passed in the first movie like she got him that dog as closure and so when they killed that dog that pretty much you know that when they killed that dog, they pretty much killed the closure that he was kind of suffering from. So, of course, they pretty much opened up the belly of the beast and they got the beast out. And that's kind of, everyone see, you know, that's kind of what I love about this whole thing. Like, you know, the first one wasn't about just killing the dog. It's just, you just didn't let this man grieve. He just lost his wife. And they wanted to come out and start some crap, breaking his house, steal his car, beat him up, then kill the dog. Please. I thought y'all was going to let him, he thought, I thought he was going to let y'all slide. Nope. So, I hope he gets justice on the end and kills everyone at the high table. That's what I want to see happen. So, like I was saying, everybody, drop me some comments. Tell me what you guys think of this John Wick Chapter 3. Um, please subscribe. Please give me a like if you like what you saw. And a subscribe would be great. Um, as always, Mr. Movie X kicks us out. I'll holler at you guys later. That shit was fire.